Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play CrossCode. In the previous episode, we continued exploring Autumn's Rise, and in addition to that, completed a few quests that got us some eh, rather nice gear, in my opinion. And in this episode, we're going to continue exploring, because I'm hoping to finish off the only quest we have left in the area, well, minus collecting that raw beef, which we're not going to be able to collect all of, plus there's still the wood, and maybe, just maybe, get a battle on with Grasshead. Anyways, in between episodes, I explored around this area a bit, tried to find different pathways, and I think I may have found another area that might just be a pathway. I'm not 100% or er, landmark, I'm not 100% sure. Either way, I found a pathway that also led me to some treasure chests. Which, don't worry, I haven't opened. I'd rather do that on camera for all you guys. Whoops. So we've got this one, which contains a blue shell. Another trade item, but hey, I ain't gonna complain. They hid it away that well. Must have been a uh, rare item. Let's see. Then over here, we have yet another chest for us to open. Which contains a daikon, which apparently is a weapon. Despite, from what I've heard, it being a some form of radish. It was a huge radish, like I said, that can be both a fearsome weapon and a healthy meal. Gives us plus 7 attack and plus 69, giggity giggity, max HP. Plus 3 HP regen, so hey, that's always good to have. Uh-oh. Looks like I'm gonna go- that's how I'm gonna have to go back around to get to that cave. I'll meet you guys there. Okay, back on the other side of the river, we hop down here and we find our way into... If it would show up... Hellcat Cave. I'm hoping this might be a landmark, though I doubt it. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Looks like these guys' projectiles can, can inflict some sort of heat-based status effect of some kind. Hmm. That's it? I was kind of expecting more. Oh well. If nothing else, it was good for some XP. Oh well. Uh, I will see you guys back down in Pathway 4, where we can head to the next observatory. Or the old observatory. Ooh, treasure chest. With four bovine skin. Alright, well, that was a simple one. Don't know how I didn't spot that last episode, but whatever. And there is another one up there, though I'm not 100% sure how to reach it. Hmm. Oh well. I'll look into it a little bit later. And yeah, I see the teleport pad, so the old observatory is a landmark. Those To observe those who seek all elements is our duty. If you dare to seek our wisdom, then only what is broken can open this door. Uh, my guess, we're gonna have to find some sort of broken equipment and equip it in order to get inside. At least that's my guess. Let's see, there's also a treasure chest up there I'd like to try to get. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go up and around. Dungeon Heart. Huh. I wonder what that means. Well, let's see. 
what other landmarks could we have? The only one I could think of... Ooh, wait. There's a pathway down here back in Pathway 1 that I've missed. wonder how that happened. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. If it can lead us to our next landmark, or rather our last landmark, then I'm all good with that. Treasure chest, and yeah, there's the pathway. Though I think that was one I kind of had trouble getting to. Because for some odd reason, I can't seem to make this jump. He says, immediately making the jump. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Spheromancer, not something I see very often these days. You see, the class is very hard to master, so it became a bit unpopular, I would say. And nowadays, you only find a handful of people trying to play it. I guess that explains it. I just assumed it was some sort of PvP thing. Ooh, those hedgehogs are not happy with us. Not that it matters. We can kick their butts easy these days. Okay, new area. What have we got? Please say it's a landmark. I can't actually look for the map to see if there are any other pathways out of here because, well... Kind of in the middle of combat. See, yeah, there's another one to the left. Might as well try looking into that. Oh, we could have easily run into some old hedgehogs here. Keep heading left until we find those teleporter pads. Ooh, treasure chest. Let's see how to get up there. I don't see any of those blocking doors over there, so maybe if I can find a way over there, from in here, I can get to it. And there's yet another treasure chest over there. I really should learn... I really should, you know, what's the proper term, hardwired into my mind to explore a full ledge before jumping down. Let's see, more metal needles. Yeah, I got a quick question for you guys. Do you want to see me go off and collect all the treasure chests, or if I find one off screen while grinding for items, would you rather I just collect it myself? I, I just want to know. Hedgehog's Den. Still no other landmark. Hmm. I'm getting the gut feeling that we're not going to be able to find the last landmark this time. Because it might be up this way, but we can't get through there because of something about a pass being required. Let's see, no needles? Nope. 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 Yeah, I'm not seeing a pass on sale here. So, someone tells me we're just going to need to move on on our quest. Because I don't remember finding a pass at any point. Oh well. Uh, I'll meet you guys at the end of Pathway 6, because I get the feeling that that's where we're going to be taking on our, uh, I guess, rival for now. Oh. That's the last landmark. What do you know? Alright, I guess in that case, well, one, we'll talk to this girl. Hey, pleased to meet you, girl. Hi. Are y'all interested in plants, too? They got some mighty strange doohickeys inside, don't you think? 
Well, I'm Tala Two Lips. I've taken a notion to find and unanalyze as many as I can. Well, that's turned out to be a lot harder than I expected. See, getting at what's inside seems to only be doable by seekers. I can only collect what's they, what they bring me. Might y'all be interested in giving me a hand? Sure, analyze the floor of Crossworlds by hitting plants. Much obliged, girl. That there's mud kind of you. Kind of y'all. First, let me give y'all this here. This mighty handy little gizmo will help you keep track of your progress. Just keep hitting them plants and analyzing them by getting them doohickeys. Y'all can check your progress in the menu, too. I took the liberty of adding my findings for the alpha ball plant. Just keep hitting them plants for me, alright? Alrighty, I'll be off exploring for more of them plants. Might even meet you along the way. Once y'all are finished, come find me in Rookie Harbor Alley Quarters. Okay. Sure, why not? You can find the botanics menu within the records menu. See, so see how many drops you need to complete the entry. Fair enough. Once progress reaches 50%, you can find more detailed location here. Fair enough. And seeing as how we just completed that quest for Henry, we may as well go back and see him. Well, let's see. He was, I believe, somewhere around here, so may as well head for the entrance. And I'm willing to bet that's the exit point for this whole area, and where we'll end up meeting that certain grass head. Well, well welcome back, Leah. Were you able to f find all the data I re requested? M marvelous! I d d don't know what to s s say. With the this, I might be able to piece together <laughs> how they made this area. The a a ancients, I mean. Here, take this. I'm looking forward to w w working with you again. I if you want, that is. Sweet. Uh, you know what? I think let's head back here to the Obelisk Lake. Let's see what we can get in terms of equipment. Let's see, still can't afford that. No, wait, I can afford that, I just don't have the materials. Civilian trigger. Mmm. I don't really like the minus in defense. But then again. Brawler would be nice, plus the extra attack. Definitely not switching on my Daikon for it. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna go trade for a couple of junk metal if I can. And get the Mugger's Blade. Okay then, I think without further ado, let's head for this. And I will be saving because if I recall correctly, there is an achievement for dealing with him without losing. Bergen Trail. Here we are. So, where is Monsieur Grasset? Don't tell me he's late. Blue-haired Spiromancer! Finally, you've arrived! It is our ta- It is time for our duel! As for the location, this place here is just perfect. It is kinda crowded here. Or isn't it kinda crowded here? Why, that's exactly the point! People should witness the grace of the Spheromancer's fighting style. I see. Now, there is no reason to rush. Prepare yourself and tell me when you're ready to start. And don't even think about chickening out. Hell no, we're going to show you. Must I remind you of the definition of a duel? It's a Spheromancer versus Spheromancer. No pentafist. Wee oui, wee, oui, I know. I'm gonna watch as Leah beats you up. 
Anyway, just talk to me when you're ready. Yeah, sure. Let me just take a look at some of this stuff. Um, hiya. Hi. Are you a new player, too? Great. I mean, uh, could you help me with something? See, I need equipment. A bronze mail. They offer it in the armory at R Rookie Harbor. I'd teleport back to the city and buy it myself, but see... I hate towns. They're always so crowded. So many people, signs, and noises. I, I can't take it. Wait, somebody with a fear of crowds joined an MMO. A popular one at that. So, uh, could you please buy a bronze mail for me in Rookie Harbor? Uh, of course I'll pay you back, so, um, pretty please? Sure. Pikewood and Frozen Tear. Why well, don't I get the feeling that Pikewood is part of that one quest I'm working on? Th thanks you're a lifesaver. I'll wait here for you. Did you notice they removed- Yeah, Passionate said some bigger updates soon. Ha, soon probably means not this month. Yep. True that. I didn't get to see what they were talking about. Battered Fist. Oh, that needs a lot of stuff I don't have access to. And there's somebody with a quest up there that I can't get to. Oh well. Alright, I'll make a save. And I'll just save over this one. Let's duel. I see you are prepared. Are you ready for the duel? Good. Pentafist, it's time for you to step back. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Get ready. PvP combat. Activate. What is it? Is this your first PvP battle? Player versus player. It's simple. We fight several rounds. Five out of nine. No items. No escape. I'm glad I didn't spend a ton of money on items to heal. Go, Leah! I'm sure you can do it. The time has come. I, Apollo, finally we got a name for this guy, will show you the right path. The path of a proper Spheromancer. The path of justice. Let the duel begin. Right. Okay, wait for him to use a special, then charge in and attack. I can do that. KO! This round goes to you. Not bad. Time to show you the true potential of a Spheromancer. As long as I can out-damage him, I don't have to worry about getting caught once or twice. You can do it, Leah! over yet! I win. Unfortunately, I have Steam Overlay turned off, so I don't know if, uh... I did get the achievement. Hmm. It looks like I underestimated you. 
You are indeed a worthy opponent. I'm glad to know that skilled spheromancers remain among us. However, you have yet to unlock the true potential of this class. Next time we meet, I'll make sure to test your skills once more. Until then, blue-haired spheromancer. Leah. Serious Monsieur is very serious. Looks like you got yourself a rival, Leah. <sighs> you really did kick his derrieres, though. That was awesome. Anyway, I really have to go now. Seriously, we've been playing for so long. But it was so much fun. So let's play together again next time, d'accord? Très bien. Until then. Au revoir. New word embedded. Bye. Bye. Huh? Ah, we. Oui. Goodbye. See you soon. It looks like I added the word just in the nick of time. I figured you would need it sooner or later. Well then, I think we should call it a day as well. I kind of need a break myself, to be frank. Do not worry, you will be back in the game soon enough. Good night, Leah. So much fun. Sure, it's supposed to be a long parkour. It's all about the journey, no? We better make it last. Yes, apple trees all over the place. She would have loved that place. Hmm? I suppose I might as well show that place to you. Someday. Hmm, memories of our past. Intriguing. Good morning, Leah. Are you alright? And you still remember everything from yesterday, right? Meeting Emily and all that. Alright, great. Oh, by the way, it seems that Emily is online as... Oh, that must be her. It's like a phone call. Just take it. But bonjour Leah! Hi! This is a direct link. First time you've seen it. Real fancy, no? Anyway, I already went ahead a bit and had a look around Bergen Trail. We can form a party again if you want. Just tell me via D-Link. We? Oh, I almost forgot. I think the next dungeon will be in that mountain village, no? We should enter the dungeon at the same time, keeping the tradition of our dungeon racing duels. Très bien. Make sure you don't enter that dungeon without me, d'accord? See you around. And Link End. There. Well then, time to continue. You can invite Emily to your party by yourself. It is your choice. I don't see why I wouldn't. Having extra people around would, might be a good idea. Select a party member to open the submenu. Use these options to invite contacts to your party or remove them. You can also simply contact them for a small chat. I don't see why I wouldn't. And yet another level. Sweet. Showdown at Bergen. I got a trophy. Ah, I see you're looking for a formidable punching force. I'm ready. Let's see, what do we got in quests? Let's see, you've got mail. Crocus Pocus. Oh, right, Flora. Wooden stakes, Bergen ice. Well. Suppose I may as well mark that, and I may as well take care of the You Got Mail back in Bronze Harbor, if I can. And there was that one person with the quest up here that I'd like to talk to. May as well pick that up. And see what we can get from drops here. Yeah! 
s s sorry I just had the most traumatic event ever. Seriously. I'm still shaking. Hi? Yeah, hi. Again, sorry. I'm normally not so jumpy. I mean, you won't believe what happened. I was running on an off-road path here in Bergen Trail. Suddenly, this huge and vicious bunny creature attacked me from the side. I was so surprised I just ran down here and collapsed. I mean, I heard there was a super strong monster in the mountains, but I can't believe it. I stopped to become much stronger. You know what? You're right. I shouldn't be scared of some monster. It's just a game, right? I should find this thing and give it a good whacking. Right, but how about you help me, you know, ease into the action and all that jazz? I'll reward you too. Come on. Let's see. Ask the friends about the legendary bunny. Hexacast in Rookie Harbor, Triblader at the Obelisk in Autumn's Rise. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, thank you so much. I think we should start by asking my friends about that thing. Both of them are pretty smart, and always they always know stuff. Well, one of them is a Hexacast and is in Rookie Harbor. I'm not sure exactly where he is, though. I remember he's, him saying something about an inn he loves. The other is a Triblader. He should be at the Obelisk in Autumn's Rise. I'll send word to them via direct link so they know you're coming. Sorry, I'm not a fan of this messaging. I like to handle things personally. While you talk to those guys, I'll talk to the people here. Uh, by the way, what's your name? I'm Jean. Leah, hi. Is your speech model a little jammed or something? Kinda seems like it. Uh, I see. Must be hard using the direct link. I'll include this in my message to the guys. Alright, Leah, let's begin. Eh quick job. Plus, I'm going to be heading back to uh, Rookie Harbor anyways for that bronze mail. And that must be the Triblader. Hi! Sorry, I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Oh wait, you're that girl. Leah, right? Jean already told me you'd come. Sorry to get you involved. I can't understand why she's not using the direct link. Yeah, anyway, this is about the bunny or whatever she saw, right? I do remember you can summon some sort of legendary bunny by collecting five frosted carrots somewhere in Bergen Trail. Yeah, but there was another requirement. I can't remember what it was. Maybe our Hexacast friend Jock knows more about it. Yep, that's all. Also, I'm Jeff. Nice to meet you. Hi, Leah. Hi. Ah, there's the problem with the speech module Gene told me about. Nah, don't sweat it. I'll just DL Gene everything I told you. She should learn how to use the direct that how use the direct link system anyhow. Head to the marketplace, and while we're there, let's see where we can pick up that bronze mail. Let's see, nope, 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 no. Still no. Yet again, no. And no. Maybe it's in that uh, other area, and this guy still has a quest. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Hi. Ah, there you are again. I'm currently facing a high-priority problem, and it's giving me quite the headache. You see, I am waiting the urgent delivery of fresh ingredients from one of our contracted food collectors. An important business lunch will be ruined if she doesn't show up. Hi. Yes, thank you for asking. It would be ver indeed be very helpful if you could lend me a hand again and keep your eyes open for our collector. She should be somewhere in Autumn's Rise. Could you try and find her and examine what happened? Sure. Why not? Excellent. I'm expe expecting swift results. Oh boy. Let's see. Dig. Can't hide. Big organized band of Hellcats. Smuggler trouble. Incentive tree care. Okay, I'll probably pick those quests up, well, next episode, because I'm slowly running out of time. Would like to see where that bronze mail is. No. No. Still no. Where the heck is it? No. Still no. I'm out of time, but I really would like to find this. Maybe it's in that actual equipment shop.
Yeah, there it is. Hmm. Might actually want to grab some for myself. The extra HP would be nice. And I do have the credits for it. Definitely not the bronze goggle, though. The extra focus might be nice, but the drop and everything else, not so much. And I'll grab some bronze boots. Cost me pretty much everything, but eh, so be it. A little out of time, but I may as well go for this. Good day, Leah. Hi. Yeah, <laughs> don't, don't farce your Quen Jean taught me a bit ye. I'm Jock. Shocker for ya, huh? Heard your speech module is broken. You swatch lock the cheerful lassie nonetheless. Oh dear lord. I am butchering this. Yeah, <laughs> say, you want to ken something about the legendary bunny eye? All right, how is wit a ken? I heard you need to find some sort of room capture device. You can tell Gina Mitch hey found these devices, but she still needs something else. But I don't ken wit it is. <laughs> I will send Gina with details. You mitch wounded mare when ye gab te veer triblader mucker. What? Okay. Right. Anyways, let's let's head back to Bergen Trail and take and uh, take care of this. Take care of the Autumn's Rise thing next episode. Hiya. Oh, uh, is that the bronze mail you brought for me? The thank you so much. Here, I'll pay you back the price p plus some extra, and also some items I found in Bergen Trail. It's not much, but maybe you can use it. I gotta go now. Thanks again. Nice. Ah, the meeting place. That's what they were talking about. Anyways, we'll talk to the girl, hand in that quest, and then we'll... Well, end the episode there. Hey, Leah. Hi, hi. I just heard back from the guys. I can't believe this. I told them not to DL me. And again, your speech module is broken, so it's probably better this way. But on to business. So, from Jeff, we know that we need five frost carrots, and from Jock, we know that we need a capture device. And I found out that this creature seemed to show up a lot on the windy climb parts of Bergen Trail. Uh, let's split the work. You go collect the frost carrots, and I'll try to get my hands on one of these capture devices. We'll meet here again once we're finished, alright? Oh, we will, but not this episode, because we are well out of time. Well, at least in my opinion, we're well out of time. Anyways, if you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, or to hit the straw polling to vote for our next Let's Play. And please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.